Beis. The bottom of page Simen Reish Sadekei. Havdola Shaisa Shatz Ashtir Tzibur Boy Heisifim. Noyegim Loyim Avi Noyam on Motzei Shabbos after Shmuel Esrei. It might have the minigus to say Pesukim Avi Noyam. Lafi Shuhu Mizmer Shal Bracha Shaboy Beirach Moshe Es Yisrael Esha Shesimu Malech Samishka. Because it's with this capital, this Mizmar of Bracha, that Moshe banished the Yidin when he completed the work of the Mishka. The Noyegim Lichbel Pasuk Erech Yamim, Shaidei Kach Nishlem Nishlam Hashem and Yoytzem Imen. The minute is that when we finish the Yoysheb Aseser, the last Pasuk Oyrech Yamim, Oyrech Yam Aspiyeh, we say twice. The reason for this being is Api Kabbalah, and this finishes off the name of Hashem that's hinted out, and this Tefillah um, is only hinted out when you actually say it twice, the second time, Oyrech Yam Aspiyeh. It's not something to us, but for those that are Mechabim, the Shemus, uh, uh, they say that, that, that's the Ingen behind it. So, so why not say it? All the time. Not just Matzah Shabbos. Repeating, you say. Yes. What do we say? When you say. What? When by Kriyat Shmuel Lamita you say? Oh, but not. You also say actually Shabbos. Shabbos, you say. Yeah. It's true. It's a good question. Well said. Say Erech Yamim again. No, the whole yeah, we don't say the whole thing, but we, we stop in the middle. The belt well says the whole thing? The way we say Bekisha Shalomita is, is, is similar a little bit to the way it's said by Elavaya. When the, the whole system, when the Chavar Kadisha takes the Arun, they also stop by that Pasuk. That I repeat uh, over the certain words there. Which pasuk? Um, the last pasuk. Uh, oh, uh, right. Um, it's the mamodas, the special mamodas that they every few feet they stop with the arim. Now, Noyegin Loimer Seder Kedusha. The meaning is to say the Seder of Kedusha um, at night. We say the Kodesh Baruch Yimlech, the Maschilin Ba'ata Kodesh, the Loy Uvalatzin Goyel, the Shein Geula Balayla. We start the Atta Kodesh, we skip the beginning of a Volatzian, Goyal, because there is no Gula at night. Why are we adding all these things, Mata Shabbos? Mithamal, it's important to, to add all these things, could say the Kedusha and Yeshiva Seser. Why not add it in? Because there's an Indian Kedish Yishtu Yisrael Bashlam Sidreim. That in order to lengthen the time period that the Shoyim do not have to return back to Gehenim. The Lamaila in Shemayim, they wait during Shabbos, the Shoyim that were whole week in Ganadin. Gehenim, go to Ganeidim on Shabbos. When Klai Yisrael, the last Kehil of Klai Yisrael finishes, Kedusha, of uh, the, the, the Seder of Kedusha on Maitzai Shabbos, that is when they go back to Gehenim. Yeish so, noigim... So that's, that's going to be the, the, the Shul of Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it works with the, every Mokim. <laughs> 
Yesh noigim itama yidu alahem lemer mu'umbad pasuginoyem. Some people have a minig based on the Rizal to say the Pasuk Vinayim standing. We stand for the whole thing. From Vinayim throughout. Siv Gimon. Chal yontif yeyem ha-kippurim ve-echod yimei ha-maisa v'shu ha-ba. If one of the days of the week and the week coming up is a yontif or a kipper, even if it's on Erev Shabbos the next week, all the way on Friday, the minig is not to say Vinoyam. We say two times in the Pasuk, that our, our, our handiwork, our Maisiyadeinu, our, our Parnassah should be established. It needs to be a full week of six days that are ready to do parnasa. But if it's a week which has a Yom Tif and it's Yom Kippur, we don't say this, we don't say the Inayim. And with Chalba Shabbos, I mean, see if the Yom Tif falls on the Shabbos, like Pesach fell on the Shabbos, or the Yom Tif falls on the Pesach, it falls on the Shabbos, then the Matzah Shabbos before you do say it. Now, regarding Be'emes Pesach, there's actually a Machleikis, and maybe Pesach is different because of Erev Pesach. The question is, is Erev Pesach considered a Yom Tif or not? Erev Pesach, after Chatzoyis, when it was supposed to do Malacha, and it was the time that the current Pesach was brought. So, does, is Erev Yom Pesach enough of a Yom Tif to be for this purpose because it's a minig not to do Malacha after Erev Pesach? And certain things we don't do. We look at Chil, do not cut nails. But here, certain things we don't do after Chatzois um, or Chatzchila. Um, so, therefore, is this considered a day, Shiyoim Shein by Maisa or not? Machlik is in a minute. It's not clear in, in the Shulchan Aruch here what would be the din by Pesach. He doesn't mention anything about Pesach. It seems to be that Arab Pesach would have the same din like all other Arab Yom, Arab Yom, the type. It doesn't say anything. I think the Prima Godim does indeed hold that. That Arab Pesach, like in this year's Kviyas, you would not say be Noyam the Matzah Shabbos of Shabbos Hagadol. And this Kviyas that we had this past year, because Arab Pesach is on Friday. It's a Yom. It's not only be Noyam. Once we don't say be Noyam, we don't say the whole Valetzian. We don't say the whole entire Seder. We just go straight to Lein. Well, that's what he's about to say now. Zman shein Oimer Roisay Sivbeis a Noyigin. Loimer Gamba Atta Kodesh will call Seva Kedusha. In the time we don't say Vinoyim, we also don't have the minute to say Vata Kodesh, an entire Seder Kedusha. The fee should be Hinoyim Shaykh from Alechas Amishka. Hinoyim is Shaykh to the work of the Mishka. Through building the Mishkan, the Mishka being completed, that's how the Shechina rested in Kla Yisrael. You, Hashem, you, the Holy One, Yoishiv, Tehilas Yisrael, you rest amongst Kla Yisrael throughout through the Mishkan. Therefore, we always say them next to each other. Therefore, we don't say it together. We don't we don't say Vinoyim, we don't say Vyata Kotish. How we yitin lecha. However, we yitin lecha no yigan leim mechol ingin. We yitin lecha doesn't make a difference whether that week there is a week of uh, there's a yom tif middle of that week. We still say we yitin lecha after habdal. No yigan sevdalad shashliach to mamav the vesaknes alayayim. The title of the simon was habdal shoyis shashliach tzibur. So now we're getting to that the kudah and the simon. The meaning is that the Shriach Tzibur makes Havdalah on wine and shul To be mighty, someone does not have wine in one's home to make Havdalah which then was something which was very shy that people did not have wine. Wine was not such a commodity. They didn't have, uh, in all places in Europe, they didn't have grapes growing and it was more of an expensive item. If you're having a mind to be Yoitzah with it, 
you should drink from the cup yourself. Or, However, if you don't want to be yoytze with it, you can give it to someone else. You could say the Berchas Havdalah, and the Chazan, and give it to someone else to drink, another adult who's going to be yoytze with it. If you give it to drink to children, since no one drank for this kois, someone who was is going to be yoytze with it. That's why women cannot make Abdullah for another woman. Shtikl Pala, we need to understand, because the halacha by Kiddush is not, not, not that way. Kiddush, <coughs> Shabbat explains that you give you give a child the chazan and shuls, that nus chazan and shuls. What happened to the fellow that, uh, what, uh, what was his name? Uh, Gottlieb. Yeah. He just He's came sick. back. He just came back today sometime. He was in Eretz Israel? Yeah, he came back today. Oh. Of course he was sick before. Was he, always, he always tells us the minute Ashkenaz. Right. So, so the Maise is the minig of, uh, he, he said he was the one that as a child he would drink the wine for Kiddush in the shul. Because in, in the shul where he davened, the minig was that they were, the Chazal would make Kiddush Friday night after davening for, in the shul. <coughs> and he would give it to a child to drink. Yeah. I hear. I hear. I hear. I hear. I Ah, and you recall this minig? Well, my 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 parents still daven at a Ashkenaz shul, and they do the kiddush. Yes, what they do is they pour the wine <laughs> into little cups for for the little children, and they come up to drink. The mice is I think the answer to that is pasha because. Like this. And when they go home, they make another kiddush. Yeah. So this kiddush for for whom? Uh, I'm, uh, 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 I'm not sure. It's a minute. The mice is a zoi. The reason why is like this. It's too. It's, it's like this. Over right. there, we're talking kiddush that no one's being yoytze. Today, no one is being yoytze the kiddush in the shul. They're going home to make kiddush. The minig, the takana originally started from the gemara, was that there were guests that used to reside in shul. And in order, they didn't have the, they didn't have wine with them, so the shul would provide would make kiddush for them. So someone was yoytze this kiddush, but now no one's being yoytze. So if you're not being yoytze, you're not allowed to drink from it because you're not allowed to drink before Abdullah, before kiddush. So you have to give it to the child that the very prayer goffin shouldn't be the batola. Ma'ase, no one is being yoytze with it. According to that sheet, those that do it. There's no reason really to do it today, but it's a, 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 a takana that Chacham set up, and we can't be mevatel the takana. It's machloikis about it, whether or not you're allowed to mevatel the takana if the reason is bottled. It depends which, which mitzvahs. And... I, 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 I have a question for you. If you're making ki, 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 ki... Kiddush at a Kiddush in Shul, are you supposed to make Kiddush again for the place where you go back and you finish off your meal? Once you heard in Shul, you heard in Shul. Got it. If you, if you ate also afterwards. Yeah. If you, you ate for your wife, I don't know. You can make again. Right. But you don't have to, and then your wife could make on her own. You know, and Bahamas is better. Yeah. Yeah, to eat. yeah. yeah, but if you didn't eat in the you were not yet to the Kiddush, so you have to make a gift. You're only doing the same as not really. Yeah, it depends which. It's Lachatchila. Meaning, it depends who you ask. There's def- I'm saying according to the Altarebbe Shokhanach. According to other places in the Enechanami, it's only very pair of and you could do it again. It, according to the Alter Rebbe, it comes out it's not the fact that there's a problem with Baruch HaLatala, there isn't because you're drinking and making Baruch and the issue is 
that a person who has a chiyuv and they know how to they know how to make kiddush on their own, they're not supposed to have someone who was already yotze in mighty them, because if you know how to do it, you should you do the mitzvah yourself. Mela when the, if someone makes kiddush for other people, um, and he himself was not yet yotze, so he's being yotze also with this. But he doesn't have a chiv anymore. So then, meaning like this, there's something called arvus. Kol Yisrael Aravim Zelazeh, right? Kol Yisrael Aravim Zelazeh is a concept in halacha, and then it became a concept in hashkafa. Maybe the opposite, but in Gemara it's brought in, in halachic terms that. That every year is, is a guarantor for another year to take <coughs> on responsibility to make sure that another year also does mitzvahs. So it means that if even though another per, I was already yoytza mitzvah, I was yoytza kiddush already, I'm allowed to go again and say all the brachas of kiddush. Let's say Friday night is not only a very it's a bracha of kiddush, mekadosh, Shabbos. You're allowed to say it again, it's not a bracha of Atala because I have a chiv to help another yid do his mitzvah. I took, we Klaisel took Arvus one for another that we are guarantors for each other. So, there, because of this Chiv of Arvus that, is, is, that we, we're obligated in, that allows us to aid someone else in doing the mitzvah. And it won't be considered a Bracha, a Latola, a Bracha Shemitzucha. Mm-hmm. It's called Arvus. Well, Maisa, <laughs> if you weren't Yoitzi yet, so you don't, you're being made to the person, not because of Arvus. It's because Shemea Ka'ina, the person hears what you're saying, you're Chayev and you weren't Yaitza, and let's say she wasn't Yaitza yet. So you're being mighty together, it's in the Shemea Ka'ina, it's the same Chiyuv. If you were Yaitza already, so then the only way you're allowed to make Kiddush for another person who wasn't Yaitza yet is because of the concept of Arvus. The concept of Arvus is, you're not supposed to rely on Arvus, you're not supposed to rely on it. And the reason is not clear in Paskim, but the Alter Rebbe writes that the reason why you shouldn't rely on Arvus Lachatchila is because Vadirin Chayshe Mishpat. When it comes to paying back a loan, <coughs> if Ruvain borrowed money from Shimon, he borrowed hundred dollars from Shimon. Shimon, Ruvain said, Shimon said, I'll only give lend to Ruvain. If you have a guarantor, so Ruben brings Levi, Levi's going to be my Arav, my guarantor that I pay. So what happens if Shimon decides he's going to go straight to Levi? Allah is no. Shimon has to first ask Ruben, do you have the money to pay back? You borrowed from me. You owe me $100. Mm-hmm. Ruben says he doesn't have, and Shimon goes to Levi. the Levi and says, you're the Arav, you're the guarantor, pay up. Unless it's an Arav Kablan, which is a different level. Arav Kabbal means that it's not a regular Arav. Arav Kabbal means a Lashen Kabbalah. Kabbal is Makabal on himself that he actually becomes instead of the borrower. And Shimon does not go to Ruvain, he goes straight to Levi. And Shimon has no Shaykhs with Ruvain anymore. But that's not the regular concept of Arvos. So since it's a halacha that ain't toivin as an Arav Tchili, you're not supposed to demand the money. From the 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 the, Arif, the guarantor of the Similarly, when it comes to Kol Yisrael Ravim Zelazeh, the reason why we find in Allah that Allah that Allah one should not rely on the concept of Arvus is because the Chatechila you should pay Hashem back the mitzvah, do the mitzvah for Hashem if you know how to do it on your own. If you know how to do it on your own, you should do it on your own. If you don't know, then you rely on the guarantor, the other yid. Every yid has to guarantee another yid's uh, kiim ha mitzvahs. So you rely on the arvus of another yid, but it, we shouldn't be relying on that because the Hashem says to the person, "You pay up, you owe me. You have, to, you have an obligation to me to do the mitzvah. You do it yourself." So based on that logic, it makes more sense that a person should lachatchila do it. Well, I might say a lot of people are mekel and uh, they do do it again for their for wife for the women. But uh, the etzim, she herself can make kiddush, and uh, she's chayiv in kiddush just like the men, um, and she can make kiddush herself. She can take some grape juice and make some kiddush. Doesn't have to wait. For sure, if it's another man, they can make on their own kiddush. There's no need to make. Let's say they know how. 
they're not a bucky. So then, if they don't howl, then it's then it's then it's, it's as if they don't have money. <laughs> Reuben doesn't have money, so Shimon goes to the guarantor to Levi. So if a yid says, "I don't know how to do the mitzvah. I don't know how to say kiddush. I don't know how to say kiddush." Then obviously, we're not going to say to him, "You have to. You can't. You, you we, we can't do it for you." We're going to say that the guarantor that has to now kick in. He has to pay up. He has to help you do the mitzvah because that's what he took on. We took on upon ourselves in the midbar, an ingin of arvus. So Lamaisa, in this case over here, in Bahavdala, getting back to Sevdalit, uh, when the Sheikh Tzibar is making Havdala and Shul, uh, it's an order to be mighty someone who doesn't have wine. So if the person who's making Havdala himself wasn't Yaitza, wants to be Yaitza with this Havdala, he drinks from himself. If he doesn't want to be Yaitza with the Havdala, he gives it to someone else to drink. But he can't give it to children, because if he gives it to children, then no one's going to be Yaitza. And that was going to be it. Be bochel v'tola. Be because the chora would be, chora would be, because it's different. I don't think it seems like there was no such takana like by kiddush, where there was a formal takana that the shul should make havdala. Might might be bochel v'tola, yeah. Sifei, no go loimer la haskil yonavi mitzay shabbos achavdala. The minig is to mention el yohanavi a mitzay shabbos achavdala. Mespalol sheyavoi v'asreinu hagula. He should call Davin. He should come and notify us about the upcoming gula. Sheein el yoh ba be erev shabbos. El yoh does not come on erev shabbos. Shavuot you saw me iski tarech Shabbos. If he comes on erev Shabbos, a big commotion in town. Everyone's busy and, and shopping in the Koyal store, and Elio is going to come. What's going to be? And pomegranate. So it's going to be an issue. Pomegranate might be very upset. The gab be Shabbos any ba and Shabbos Elio Navi can come. Im yesh isat chum al malit vachim. According to the opinion that there's an isa of walking tchum Shabbos. Even higher the Yutvachim, how's the Yohan Navi going to come? Is it going to come from Shemayim down? He's traveling, gets much more than 2,000 Amas. So it's a big distance. See, he's going out of the Tchum, he has to keep Shabbos. Where Tchum so goes that, this way? That's a Shaila. A Shaila if there is Tchum in above Yutvachim. So according to the opinion that there is the concept of Tchum Shabbos even higher than Yud, which would be, for example, let's say someone's on a railroad track or on an on a upper. On a, on, a, on a higher thing, uplift, a lift in the ear, is there a concept of Tchum Shabbos in, that, in the ear space? It's a machlaikis, but according to that opinion that there is, the Yonavi can't come on Shabbos. Okay, therefore, on the Mespalim, we dab in Matzah Shabbos, the Kivin Sha'ava Shabbos, since Shabbos now is finished, Yachalavin, he could come, Shayava, he should come now. We must say the notify us about the Gula. There are people who have different songs that they sing. They mention Eliyahu Hanavi and Matzah Shabbos. Neish Tzadik Vav. Dini Havdol Aliyayim. So we spoke already about that there's Kiddush, there's Havdol in Tefillah, we say at the Chen and there's Havdol on the Kois. And by the way, to recap, if one forgot at the Chen Antonu in Shemun Esrei, I'm not going to get into all the details, but practically speaking, all of us have wine. Matzah Shabbos, we have what to make Havdal on. If you forgot at the Antonu, which is something common, if you forgot in Meir, you do not go back. Even in the middle of Shemana you don't go back. Since you know that you have wine that night to make Havdal on, you rely on the Havdal on the Kois. Tchila Kibubi is supposed to say, Sayyam the Tfil, Sayyam the Kois, but with the Yavid, you rely on Havdal on the Kois. Just if you want to do Malacha for Havdal, you're going to have to say, Baruch Hamav Ben Kodesh. Now, other than the other that we do on the wine is we 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 say b'samim on the wine. No, higu chachamim la riach b'samim the bottom of page in your gimel, chachamim enacted that we should smell b'samim and mitzvah Shabbos. B'tzarich shivarich koydem. We're going to explain the next sermon about what the reason behind this. B'tzarich shivarich koydem reach. We need to make a bracha before smelling the the reach. 
Mitzricha gam ki levarach ala or b'mechom etzei Shabbos. Chazal also required that we should make a bracha on light, a fire, on Shabbos. The time she's brought for reasons that we explain in the siman that deals with this, siman reish sadiches. The siddu brachas elav akois. Chazal didn't say that these two brachas of psalim and ner, you don't just stam say them any time of the night. You could. But Chazal said the chatchila, they put them, they set them up on the kois. You should do it all on the kois. Even the reality, besamim, the besamim and, and the ner have nothing to do with the kois. Chazal put it all on the kois. But in England, you're allowed to take some of the small of the without, or make the prayer mirror ish even without the kois. <laughs> Sheikh and Havdala, you can't say the Nusach of Havdala without having a kois. Not, you don't have a choice. Achar birchas ayayin. When do we say it? After the brach of the yayin. Koidem birchas havdala. The tchila al psamim first and psamim. Yachakach al aner and afterwards on the aner. The nimsa comes out the seder of the havdala. The order of havdala is shalak koid birchas ayayin first the bei pragafim. Birchas psamim. Birchas aner and birchas havdala. The simoncha and the simon is Yavne. Yavne was a city in Eretz Yisrael. Yavne is Yayin the Summon Ner Havdola. By the way, there is an, one of the Shainim points out that the, the during the Havdola we connect with our senses and we connect with our sense of sight by seeing the light with uh, taste. Uh, the, the, the tasting the wine, smelling, smelling. The Indian Havdalah is using your Seichel. Havdalah is using your Chachma, using your logic to make differentiations between night, Chayshik, and Oyer, Yom Tov, and Shabbos, Yom Tov, and Shabbos, and Chayl. And the order is precise. And we first start off with the most tangible, and we get to go more Ruchnis. We start off with Birchus Ayayin, which is something very tangible, very Gashmi. T- t- tasting the wine is something very gashmi. But it's very interesting. We we don't drink the wine until after the hub hub is over. Because then you won't have any uh, in a chanami. We don't actually physically taste it then yeah. when we say the bracha on the yeah. taste. <clears throat> so the order is the, that the first thing is we d- we discuss, yeah. we mention <laughs> the tasting of the wine. Then we move a little bit higher, a little more ruchni stick. Yeah. We go to the concept of summon. The summon smell is already less tangible. You're not touching the object, but you smell it from, from further away. But obviously, smell is not as ruchni as sight, seeing. Seeing you could see much, much further than what you could smell. Smell is dependent on the ikker, how about the object, how. How, that, that there's some type of particles that are coming to your nose. There's some sort of connection. Seeing, you could see very, very far. So, the sum is the next stage, then you move up to the Indian of, of, of Ner. And then finally, we reach up the Indian of Chachma, the Indian of Havdallah, of making differentiations. And that's why we say Havdallah actually in Tfilah, at the Chorin and Das, like we learned last week. Because the whole Indian of Havdallah is realizing differentiations. It's not always easy to see what is a good thing or what is a bad thing in life. Sometimes we need to make it's, it's, it's very um, fine-tuned differences to say why, when something's coming, is it a Kedusha or is it not Kedusha? You know, it's not always so easy. And there are a lot of people, unfortunately, that are very confused. So this is something which you need some Seichel to realize what's important in life and what's the, what are our right values. Siv base. <laughs> the Kaisa of Abdullah had the same prerequisites like the Kaisa Kiddush and the Kaisa Berchus Abazan, meaning that what type of Kais do you use? That it should be full, that the wine should be not pugum, it should not be tasted before. It should be new wine. There are different halachas associated with a Kaisa Bracha. Berchus Abazan, Kaisa Berchus Abazan, Kaisa Kiddush, Kaisa Abdullah has the same status. Not going to repeat all the dinim. You look up earlier, you can see those dinim. 
I have a question. Yeah. Can the bottle of wine or grape juice be <laughs> open the ready before, or does it need to be a new bottle of wine? It doesn't need to be new. Okay. Do you see people know you get to be new? No, no, no. I, I, I just wasn't sure what, what you were saying uh -huh. when the, the one uh, can't be tasted before. I, I don't understand what, what you meant by that. If someone told me, I, yeah, no, that means that someone shouldn't have uh, drank from it. Okay. Right. If someone did drink from it before, and you don't have other wine, what you could do is you could pour some other wine, wine which is not tasted, back into it. Okay. It, make, it makes it no longer pug. Right. Someone actually told me that they, their, their, their family used to always have a new bottle of wine on, on Friday night. They wouldn't use a bottle of wine that was open, that right? was used during the week. Like that, the new bottle of wine. What's I don't really idea? know if it's a real minute or it's just that <laughs> they did it with Kavit Shabbos. It was their own nice uh, uh, chumrah. No, because of But sure, not halacha. The question is if this is. Uh, I, I haven't heard about anyone else doing this, so. I don't see what the Indian is. Maybe it's, it's an Indian of Kavit Shabbos, maybe to say that the wine was never open, it's a fresh bottle, but. It's not, uh, you have the concept if you're eating and, and somebody bring in middle of the meal better wine and open a new bottle then you have another brocha right so very difficult brocha to, to soak it could be a different conditions to right so many that's why the oil doesn't make the bracha because it's uh, I don't, there's not really many people that make the bracha today because it's very different halachas associated with it so therefore people can get themselves into Trouble. Trouble. So you have to know all the dinner. When I went to Rabbi Morozov's house for Friday night before Shavuos, he bought four cases. He was very excited. He said, this is special wine. And he already made the Bari Priya Goffin. He recited Hatovahmeti. In the middle of the meal. He took yeah, out the middle the of the meal, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure, but I, wanna, I, I, I would like to ask him if I, I would like to know if this, this is a family, like he sold this by his, his, right, his family. It was something that he, because he cuts the chibrits and he knows right. the halachas. It's not common to see it, uh, no. people making the table. Make it. It's the first time I've seen it. Seen it. Yeah. Seen it. Before. It's, it's before. mentioned, there are svarim that bring down already. I mean, like, from that published today, that are giving limots chos as to why the oil doesn't make a toilet mate. We see that the oil, it's a widespread meaning that the oil doesn't make a toilet mate. But it could be there are different medactikim and halacha that know all the details and they, they do make it. There's, nothing There's also so much good wine that's not very expensive. Today you have so, such a selection, you never, you know. <laughs> No Golena Keda Abdullah before Abdullah the Minig is to recite Shabbat. Before Abdullah in the house. Hine Kel Yeshuasi, the Yehudim Hoysa, Kaisus Esa, all these Psukim Hakoil, the Simon Taiva, all for a good sign. The Ain Choyva Bedover, there's no obligation to say his Psukim. Shulchan Aruch itself said that these Pesukim are only said in the house. But Maisa, the minute is even when in Shul, you say Havdali, you say these Pesukim. These are actually, they're not an integral part of Havdali. You didn't say these Pesukim, you still Yoytza. The main Havdali starts from very pure Gafana, the Birchas Hamav, the Mekodesh Lachot. Sivdala B'Shanis, Birchas Havdali, Yitnu Hashem Yisaneim B'Koy Simoner, during, while the Birchas Havdali is being recited, the people who are listening, should look at the koi, the becher, and look at the candle. Sif hey, the noyagin, lishpech batiyayim a koi sa arza simon toiv. The minig is to pour out a little bit of wine on the ground for a good sign. Good simon, shakol bayish and yayin nishpepoi kamayim in bay simbach. For any household, which wine does not spill out like water, people don't feel like it's plenty. Oh, we have a lot of water, we have a lot of wine. Hembe simbracha, zo simbracha. 
Arcane, therefore, Oisin Bracha, Sim Bracha, but here should we make a Sim Bracha at the beginning of the week? The aim is that Isim is busy mashke. This is not an Indian of busy mashke of, you know, not, not acting appropriately with food. Shashayfri, the Ibud, you're wasting it, Baltashris. Kivin Shanishayfri, the Ibud, since there's only a little bit, it's not an issue. Other places, by the way, it says that uh, it's not an issue, not because it's a little bit, but because you're doing it for a certain sayrich. You're doing it for the same bracha, therefore it's not an issue. Not to the When you pour, the way how you should do it is, Yishash of Mala Hakois, I'll call Gedoisa, Yishash of Oid Ma'at, Yishash of Oid Ma'at, Yishash of Oid Ma'at. When you're pouring, you're filling up your wine, you're filling up your becher, you should let it overflow. And some of it spills out, it spills on the ground. However, don't pour out from the cup to the from the becher because you need to have a full cup when you make Abdullah. So don't pour out before. As well, don't if you don't pour out till after Abdullah. There is an Indian that's brought from the Sefer Hasidim that when one drinks something, one makes a brach on something, before you drink it, you shouldn't pour out from it. You know, it's brought in Svarim that there's an Indian that by when you drink water, you should pour out a little bit of water. This has to do with, you know, shadim and drink a little bit of the water. Hard to understand exactly what the ingan is, but they pour out a drop of the water out of, out of the cup before they drink it. So it says in one should not do this after you make the shahak on your before you drink it. Because this is a bizarre, you just made a brach on it, and you're pouring it out. Drink it. And before you make the bracha, you should pour it out. Over here, you have an issue. Before you drink it, you don't want to pour it out because it's not like just a regular cup of water. This is your kois that you're drinking for Abdullah, which is supposed to be full, mali. There's an inyan, a hider, and your becher is supposed to be full. So you don't want to pour out before. On the other hand, to pour out before you drink it, after you make the bracha, is a bazillion of the very piyagafen. That why you made it on a full cup. Shabbat kais al kais mali kiroi. Okay, Shashasa, before you drink from it, Shafach, and all others, you pour it on the ground. It's as if it's something disgusting, something you don't want. But you made a bracha on this. You made a bracha on it, and now you're pouring it out. It seems that once you drink from the cup, so you drink from it, there's no more ingot in it anymore. Abdullah's over. So where, when could he do it? The only time to do it, the best time to do it is when you're pouring the becher, or wine into the becher, let it overflow. The minig also is to pour on the table. To pour on the table from the wine that's left over after the mavdil um, finished drinking and you light and you extinguish the fire in it should so be clear that to everyone this light was only lit for Ner Havdallah to make a bracha therefore you're not letting it stay lit for the rest of the evening God, I'm going to use this as my torch as my candlelight like they had those days no I right away extinguish it because I only did this for the mitzvah to make my bracha bari ma'ura ishanit. The figure ma'ad on Esher Bayi should be hulu b'shol kach in tzel chabais. If therefore for some reason one made a bracha on a ner in the house, which is not lit specially for Havdalah, there's no need to extinguish it in the wine. In the wine. In tzel chabais. An issue today. We don't we don't have candles, so you're only lighting the candle for the Havdalah. Anyways. 
shall shichazu mishem chiba mitzvah. The minig is to wash out one's eyes with the wine that you poured because of a chiva of mitzvah, a belovedness of the mitzvah. So the mice of the minig is that we don't pour it. Minig, uh, actually, you see by certain rebbe's uh, tishin, they actually pour it on the table, the, the, the wine, and, the, the, and they extinguish it directly. But the minig of the oil is that you put it in a bowl or in a plate, in a, in a, in a teller, and you let it overflow. So you have the ingan of the shoifich. And you, you, then you pack it, extinguish the candle in that wine. Oh, and so you're going to pour, pour it over? You, just you pour it, it over, yes. You first pour it over. Uh-huh. So you have the simen bracha that you pour that wine. But it doesn't, it, it doesn't have to spill on the table. Spill that overflowed into your, into your bowl, into your plate. Yeah. Then you extinguish the candle in the, after you drink, extinguish it in the wine. Uh-huh. Then people would take some wine and people have a minute to put it near their eyes, put it by their packets. Shulchan Aruch just mentions about the eyes to show that you mechav of the mitzvah. <laughs> After you extinguish the candle, does anybody have a custom to pour the wine or grape juice back into the cup and then drink it? No. I, I mean, I can't say anyone. I don't know all of them hug him, but I never see the thing. Not only that. By the way, it's the the Indian is the Indian that ladies should not drink from yes, the yes, yes. from the Havdala wine, mm-hmm. unless they have to make it themselves Havdala. But I'm saying they shouldn't drink from the wine. How can they cack? There was an old thing always in Europe that they would always tell the ladies that if you drink from the wine, you're gonna grow a beard. Beard, yeah. So the ladies would always stay away from drinking the wine. Yeah. So how did they drink kosher bar? Well, they didn't get. There. Don't drink it. Good question. Well, they didn't drink. It. I had a Sunday morning, a guy come to me and said, I lost my they, job. They, it wasn't given out to the ladies, it was given to men, right? Right. I had a guy on Sunday morning, he lost his job. So he came to me and he said, after Abdullah, I took the plate and I put it in my pocket and look, they make a big stand. So I said, what do you want? He said, no, it's a school of Apollos. I said, for me, for sure, for you, I don't know. He <laughs> uh. <laughs> got a job, probably. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they say that the Satmar Rav said that the biggest school for Panasa is to get a job. <laughs> when I was a kid in Fahabad, they used to have uh, schools coming to Fahabad for Shabbat, Shabbat Shabbaton. Four, uh, five, five uh, kids. So, and Shul divided, every family get two or three kids. So, the counselor that uh, did ate in our house. So, uh, middle of the meal, one of the kids knocked on the door. He said, what happened? He said, I don't know. They're about to start the, the meal, and the guy holding the cup, and he looked at me and he says, Ata yotze levado shani motzi otcha. So I came. <laughs> I said, you're going to make Kiddush by yourself? Or I should motzi you? So in Hebrew, it's yotze, meaning you're going out. You're going out, out yourself, or I'm taking you out. So he said, I left, I came over here. So he also said the parts of the man only works to be saved before the next part in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Say Pasha Saman before nine, it's a school. No, we had work to be somewhere other than Shul like that. Someone told me a story. Someone told me, it was told to the person who was there. Sure, they were out on time, you know, like that. That's it. You don't need from someone else's head. Yes, we do not need to give 
out for everyone to drink from the Havdalah cup. Like we do by the Kais of Kiddush. The meaning is that the, mag, the Mavdil, when we made Havdalah, drinks the cup. Um, um, is that, not, you're not allowed. You uh, just it's not the you don't have to. It's not the minute. No, Maisa, the by Kiddush is also it's a mitzvah and a mufchar by Kiddush. People confuse the two. Drinking from the Kiddush does not make you be yoytzer the Kiddush. Wow. Everybody thinks it does. Yeah, it's two separate acts. <laughs> Hearing the Kiddush, once you heard Kiddush, you were yoytzer Kiddush. You can wow. eat and everything. Drinking from the Kiddush. No. It's a separate idea that you want to, it's a, it's, a, it's a mitzvah to drink from the wine of the Kosh Shabrach of the Kiddush. There's an Indian to drink from it. But it doesn't, ha- it doesn't have anything to do with whether or not you were fulfilled your obligation in Kiddush. You fulfilled it 100% as soon as you heard the Kiddush. So people have these big shuls where there's a few hundred people and the Rav makes Kiddush. Everyone goes and sits down right away to eat. They're not all lining up by the Rav to get the... Uh, mm-hmm. And there's no Indian that they should also take some grape juice or something from the bottle on the table because it's not the Koshal Bracha. The Indian is a mitzvah and a muvchar. The best way to, is to go and take a little bit from the Koshal Bracha, the mitzvah and a muvchar. But you're yaitzah either way. Kimuvan, you want it, you ever wants to have the mitzvah and a muvchar to be yaitzah. Uh, what, what this the, mitzvah and a muvchar doesn't exist by Havdalah, only by Kiddush. What about Bracha Dorfin? If you want to drink wine, you're not, you're, if you don't taste it, you're not, uh, you have to make your own Bracha then. Yeah, if you want to drink during the uh, if you want to drink during the meal, you have to make your own bread. So this way, you you to both kiddush yeah. and, and the and the. In the yeah. you, you should definitely should do it. I'm not here to chazal shalom. This is a mini of klal yisrael, and it says in shulchan aruch, it's a mitzvah mukher to do it. I'm just trying to, quali- to qualify that for some reason someone did not get a chance to drink it. So they do. Still in all, you yoytz the kiddush. Yeah, but they do make a bracha on the wine. If they, they if they didn't they if they didn't drink right away, yeah, you have to make a bracha. Wine. If someone is being engaged with someone else's kiddush, so if they want to drink during the meal, they have to make it on the coffin? If, if they didn't Sorry. drink right away. They didn't right away. Right? What you right? Well, I'm saying is that you're, you're yoitza even without drinking. Pihalacha, the ingen that we drink from the koisha bracha, the kiddush cup, is not in order we should be able to be yoitza. It's an ingin of a mitzvah and a muvchar to drink from the kaisha bracha. It's not an ingin whether or not we yaitz or not. As soon as you hear kiddush, you yaitz the kiddush. What's, what's the mitzvah? You don't have to be. You, the reason why we're toyim is for another ingin. What are we toyim? It says over here, tzarich. You need kaisha kiddush not in order to be yaitz. It's for it's an ingin that you should get this, this special ingin of a, a special. This is the best way to do the mitzvah. But not shat, you're not yoitzah without it. So let me ask you. If but, but and that's a minig by these big shuls, where there's 100 people, yeah. or 200 people in the shul, and the Rav comes into the Kiddush hall and he makes Kiddush. As soon as he finishes Kiddush, they all sit down and eat. Right? How they, how they, they're not doing against halacha. They all were yoitzah Kiddush. They're allowed to eat now. They weren't yoitzah, the mitzvah and a muvchar, of drinking from the Kiddush cup. So if somebody makes a mercy and he makes a everybody, so they don't have to eat from the chal either? Hamaitzi is different, Bechlal. It's a different Ingen, Hamaitzi. Um, Hamaitzi is a different Ingen. Hamaitzi should, you should, you should have a uh, part of the Hamaitzi. But uh, it's an Ingen of Suda, but in Kiddush it's a whole different kind. It's nothing to do with being Yoytzev. You can't have your own Tzachalo when one who makes Hamaitzi, you make it and then you have your own piece, you have to take basket from, from his Tzachalo? Uh, you should take a piece. You should take a little piece if you could. There's an Indian, there's an Indian that you should take a little piece. Or make your own piece. Or if you're your if you're your own then you don't have to. The question is if you're your own Mishnah. If you're your own Mishnah, without eating from the Lechem Mishnah. What I recall is it's better to take a piece from the Lechem Mishnah. I don't remember how important it is, but definitely better. That's also in the Pesach Seder. There's an Indian, the Balabais, who has the Kaira, and and he makes some lechem mishnah and his matzahs. Even though people are, are having matzah from the backs around the table, they should take a little piece from the one made lechem mishnah, not because of the kazais of, of, of matzah, 
a partial little piece that they should have from Talach Mishnah. You should eat from the. There's an Indian that we distribute to everyone. We do it side by Bayer Pear Goffin, by Kiddush and side by Moitzi. Just I'm saying by Kiddush, you yoitza the lav hachi Kiddush without it. It's a mitzvah amuvcher that you should also drink from. But as a siba, someone came and there was no more wine. He doesn't have to rehear Kiddush again. He was yoitza bracha l'atal if he goes and makes Kiddush again. He was yoitza Kiddush. There's no more wine. What could he do? You can't be yoitza the mitzvah amuvcher. Unless he has to be yoitza his family. Right? Okay. No, any piece from the challah. No, let's see, you can eat your, and then you can eat from, from the, from the right tea that the Baal Bait made, or it has to I don't be know. in order, I don't know. Be first. I don't know, good question. You have to learn the dinner of Malachi Mishnah afterwards. So the thing with the Mach, but the Seder, you, you don't have to eat that uh, from, from the Baal Bait. Uh, I don't know, it's a good question, I don't know. Lab Dafke, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, because then you're not yoitz to the Brichas HaMoitzi from him, I'm not sure. I mean, to look into it, it could be the very fact that the, he picked up the two chalas, that's enough, I'm not sure.